Welcome to Is It Fast, where today we are talking to winner of the Aston Martin Academy, a BRDC rising star. He's a GT4 champion and a current GT3 driver as he heads off to the Asian Le Mans series. Tom, thank you very much for joining us on Is It Fast? How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for having me on. How did you find yourself in an Aston? And how did you find yourself then GT3 and uh, GT4 and then GT3? How 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 is that a thing? Um, so, yeah. Um, well, GT4... Um, I first got into GT4 in like 2018 was my first season in British GT and uh, I had a bit of a horrible year if I'm honest Um, it was sort of I started off in one car and had reliability issues and I think we finished two out of six races or something Um, then I moved into a Pram car with Protechnica in the Mercedes and that was uh, a lot better we just didn't get many results and the problem is we didn't have a full season so you can't get championship points mm. um, but yeah so we sort of came out the back of that year and then I the, the first thing I did with AMR which is how it started and how I got on the academy mm. was I did the Abu Dhabi well the golf 12 hour in right. Abu Dhabi uh, with the factory Aston team in GT4 for the debut race uh, when they brought out the new GT4 and uh, yeah it was a it was such a good week um, like it was just sort of upper level from anything I'd ever experienced mm-hmm. and uh, yeah and it sort of set set my sights a bit on what level you need to be at to get results and you see the being with a team that obviously does go out there and get results um, mm. and you see how they work and you, I was a bit like, I need to be in a team like that. And then we started working with TF Sport, yeah. uh, which are one of the highest level private teams out there uh, besides manufacturers. And uh, yeah, with working with Tom Ferrier there, it's just been, well, I've done everything with them since. And it's been awesome. <laughs> have you have you always been quite quite competitive? Is this is this always where you saw yourself going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started karting when I was six. Mm. Uh, started racing when I was eight, and it was yeah. I always wanted to do it, but it's one of those things where as you go through the karting ranks, it's sort of I uh, want to do it, but it does seem a long way away. And uh, it all happens quite quickly, really. Uh, like even going through karting, it's just. Like, I remember when we started racing, and you're a bit like. You look at the British Championship guys. This is when you're like ten, eleven years old, and you'll look at the eleven, twelve year old British Championship guys, and you're like, they'll come to a club race where you race, and it's uh, like, oh my god, that's so and so, and like it, it just everything seems quite uh far away but it really sort of snowballs and it just sort of happens and then like when I was 12 I went on to win the British championships in karting and like you don't think that's gonna happen at the start and then you start thinking about junior genetics and don't think that's gonna happen yeah it's just it's crazy how it works but it does move really quickly so looking ahead at so you're gonna fly out to the Emirates um in a week or two how do you see that going not the flight i'm sure that'll be lovely but in terms of <laughs> um you know competitively are, are you give, yeah. are you backing yourselves do you think actually we can do a job here yeah yeah i'm always sort of very confident um in my ability in a car and i think obviously with tf sport again i've worked with them before i know they're mm. going to be one of the best teams out there um and i'm also racing alongside amid al harty and johnny adam obviously johnny's a two-time le mans winner yeah. le mans winner now and uh amid's a blank pan champion so they're both proven and it's going to be good racing with people with experience there's a lot i can learn off them and uh yeah i think i think we've got a strong lineup 
I'm excited for it. Asian Le Mans out the way, let's imagine the world goes back to, to some sort of normality in, in the next little while. What's, and it might be a bit early to tell, but but what's what's the what's the plan? Do you want to, for example, find yourself competing at Le Mans? It, wh- where, where do you ideally see your track going? Yeah, it's obviously very hard to tell and it's uh, very much down to opportunities with uh, sponsors or other drivers or teams. But um, I mean, obviously, if we win Asian Le Mans series, that gives us a guaranteed entry to Le Mans. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's obviously our goal is going to be to win it anyway. Uh, but a nice bonus if we do do it is that we get that Le Mans entry and uh, that'd be really cool to race at Le Mans. I mean, that's that's kind of my lifelong dream to win at Le Mans. So to get there, uh, I th- I'd be 19, I think, when I'd race there. Uh, so that'd be a bit of a dream come true. So your race car, your your racing home at the moment is, uh, is Advantage, uh, which is even when they're not moving, uh, particularly quickly that they are one of the single most beautiful motor cars I believe ever made um, but in your and in my extensive notes because I do make notes for, for is it fast um, getting yourself into into the into a car into an Aston Martin particularly and, and onto the championship is not the easiest thing to do in the world um, how did it how did it come about you know was, was there like some moment where you got yourself in there yeah, so it's it started with that race in Abu Dhabi that I mentioned, the Golf 12 Hour with the factory team. Um, and then from there, I was on the Aston Martin Racing Driver Academy, mm-hmm. um, which is sort of a program where there were, we went in for like initial assessments um, on fitness, media, um, and then obviously driving uh and then 23 of us got onto the academy um but yeah i mean that was sort of that bit at the start of the year was really important to me because then i went on to obviously do british gt in gt4 with tf sport um where i went on to win my first title in cars and so it is such a team sport if you're not in a really competitive car which mm. for the last few years has been the Aston Martin hands down um, and with TF Sport which is easily one of the best teams out there uh, I mean obviously I won the Le Mans 24 hour last year which I think proves my point quite nicely Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean that's just such an important factor so um, yeah that was really good along with Ash Hand to go and win that title and that's something that helped me then uh win the aston martin racing driver academy which was obviously a bit of a game changer for me uh what what are they they like are they are they i mean i imagine they're internally for particularly for the academy and, and that whole process i can imagine they are like super super supportive and, and give you all the little kind of insider insider tips and, and, and kind of little tricks that you, you, you can use that when you pop out the other end, and obviously in your case, when you won it. Yeah, very much so. I mean, you if you went on the academy and didn't win it, you would, it's still such a massive help and uh, you'd learn so much and it's, it's massive in itself yeah. um, and you get so much out of just being on it let alone winning it. Um, so throughout the year, we had media training, uh, sessions with personal trainers, um, simulator time before every race I did mm-hmm. um, on the base performance simulator, which is literally the car that we race. Um, and then obviously the great thing you have at Aston is they have very experienced, successful well, people from motorsport in general, engineers, drivers, and as a young driver, the amount you can learn from just simply being around those people is massive. Um, It's like one example this year after I won it, we went on the AMR training camp in Portugal and uh, before COVID, of course. (laughs) Um, Yeah, and uh, sort of the amount you can, 
learned just from being around the people with so much experience it's mm. uh yeah i can't really thank them enough no absolutely absolutely toughest job interview ever <laughs> yeah it was pretty uh yeah a year long one <laughs> yeah i mean that's 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 pretty pretty extravagant calm down aston that's that's pretty <laughs> pretty hard going well tom thank you very very much for joining us here on is it fast and of course myself and the whole team here uh wish you and uh and the guys that are about to go out there and race with uh, oman racing and tf sport uh, in the asian le mans series the very best of luck uh, not that you need it talent will see you through mm -hmm. but uh, but best of luck and thank you for coming on thank you very much thank you for having me thank you very much once again to tom for joining us here on is it fast and best of luck to him and the entire team as they head off to race in the asian le mans series if you like what you watched and listened to, then please do subscribe to us on your social media platform of choice because we have some extraordinarily juicy interviews to come.